everyone, it's Jay and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on painting shoes. So we're going to be doing these right here and uh, the inspiration for these came from a picture I saw on the WWD website. Um, it was a collection, um, I can't think of it right now resort it was a resort collection um and it was a pair of shoes that had this tiger um design here in the front and i said hmm i can do that and so you know i changed it up a bit of course um uh, but definitely gave me the inspiration to do these now i had these shoes these pumps in orange and you will see the pictures uh you know of the before and after they had these little flowers that i didn't care for too much so you know i went ahead and got rid of that uh, but basically this is what you need you need a pair of shoes that are suede or um fabric so this will most likely not work if you have leather or vinyl or any type of other material so make sure that they are you know that um suede or fabric material this is very simple you don't have to be a painter or an artist or anything like that don't feel intimidated if you're not like a painter or an artist or crafty at all so if you're into it make sure to give it a try I it, I'm sure that it'll come out great so this is what I decided to do I went with a tiger here in the front the shoes were originally the the color of the heel which I did not paint so they were like an orangey color and what I did was I bought an orange on top of that um, to actually um, paint the bottom. The reason why I painted the bottom when the shoe was already an orange color is because I wanted to make sure that I would be able to fade in with the white on the top. Okay. Now, if you have these in black or any other color, you can do the same thing. Like if you have these in black, okay, you can get black. You will see in the tutorial and substitute the orange that I used for a black and or a gray you know dark gray and then you can do the white on the top and blend them okay well so that way it's a nice smooth transition between the two colors um, for this leopard print in the back you can use whatever color combination you want I love purple so I went ahead and did purple and I used um, black of course and a little bit of gold because I really do like gold and I did gold on the heels as well so I hope that this inspires you to, you know, use um, paint to give a different look to your shoes. They were nice. They were very nice shoes, but I don't like the flowers and, you know, I got these for $5. Um, you know, there's a lot of stores here in Miami and I'm sure that all around the country, you know, these stores that sell shoes for like $5.99 or $9.99 or something like that. Well, this is one of those stores that I go to when I have like an event or like a party or something. And, you know, I don't have a pair of shoes that will suit the occasion, but I don't want to spend you know, $90 on a pair of shoes that I'm only going to kind of wear once. So this is one of those shoes, the orange shoes I bought because I wanted to wear with like a specific outfit. And then I just wore them once and that was it. So this gave me the opportunity to size them up and just, I like, now I want to wear them with everything. So hopefully this will inspire you to do the same and have fun and, you know, do crazy, awesome little things that, you know, will um, make your shoes just look different. Thank you guys so much. See ya. Let's get started. Okay, so here are the shoes prior to the transformation. I will be leaving links um, to where I purchase these paints and also description for each paint. Remember that you must use fabric paint. I am removing these flowers. In this case, they are attached by a little bit of glue and these, um, they've been sewn on there. So I'm just cutting that loose. I'll probably use them for something else. Make sure that the surface is completely clean before you begin to paint. Okay, so make sure that your shoe has been 
Um, you can brush it off or make sure that everything is clean. And don't worry about those spots, we're going to cover that later on in a very creative manner. We're going to start with the slick dimensional white paint. Why am I using dimensional if I'm not really going to do any dimensional work? Well, I like to use it because I can easily apply it with the tip directly on the shoe. So that's why I'm using the dimensional in this particular case. But fabric, regular fabric paint will work just fine. You don't have to use a dimensional. But um, so I'm applying this. And as you can see, I can directly apply it with the tip on the shoe, okay? And uh, I am doing this in the front and the half of the side, the top half of each side. So you want to make sure that you cover that in white. And, you know, don't be scared. Don't be scared. You know, sometimes you think you're going to mess it up. As you can see, I'm not being very careful, um, which I really usually I'm not. Um, but, you know, you can be a little more careful maybe. But in my case, I'm just kind of messy when I paint. So I just like to go with the flow. I'm here finishing the other side, okay? And make sure that you get all that covered your top half of the shoe in white. Now I'm using a um, orange and with that same brush I am starting where the white ends and the reason I'm doing this is because the white has not dried yet completely so I, I want to get it while it's still somewhat wet so it makes a better blending surface. Okay so I am starting where the white ends and just applying the orange to help it blend better. And then I will be painting all my edges very carefully with the orange. Okay. All my edges are going to be painted with the orange. I will not be painting the heel, so I'm working carefully around the heel so I don't get any of my paint on there and this paint will dry darker it looks like um, it's very bright right now but it will dry darker especially with the shade in the bottom so once you get that all done you will go back with some white and mix it in with that leftover paint and uh, you will go again over that white and orange seam or if you're using black, if this would be a black shoe, then you go over the black and white seam to gray it out and blend it as much as possible. So you will try to get that blended as much as you can. Be patient and work on it until it's thoroughly blended. Now I will use the black dimensional paint. Again, I'm using dimensional because I love the way that this comes on there without any... Um, dripping, um, it's thick, and you can apply it with the tip. So I am outlining the tiger stripes with the black paint, okay? So um, those will be the stripes that I will be filling in. At this point you want to have the bottom coat dry. If not completely dry, as much as possible so then your black paint doesn't blend in with the rest of the bottom coat okay maybe I should be using a smaller brush but I went ahead and just stuck with my regular medium-sized brush that I was using before but um, ideally you should use a thinner brush to fill this in so that way you don't make a mess um, and you stay within your outline tiger stripes but you get the point you basically draw your stripes okay and fill them in they don't have to be perfect um, they just have to you know resemble somewhat a tiger so I didn't make them all in one direction I kind of just you know did a little bit of twisting here and there and once you're done with your tiger stripes 
on one side and that one stripe in the middle front of the shoe, then you will copy the same stripes on the other side. So that way your design is even on the shoe. And you follow the same procedure, you outline it, outline it, excuse me, and you will fill them in. So that will complete the bottom part of your shoe. And there you have it. I have completed both of the shoes, the front part at least. So you will copy, um, you know, you put them one side by side and just copy the stripes from one shoe to another to make sure they match. Now to cover these um, spots where the flowers were glued, I'm starting my leopard spots here. So with purple, I'm just randomly placing spots on my shoe, okay? I'm brushing spots on. You can use any color you want. I just like purple a lot, so I thought it would look nice on top of the orange. It makes for a nice contrast. So I, um, I'm using the purple, and as you can see, you just do dots all over, and of course, you replicate that same design on the other shoe to make sure that they match as close as possible. Now with the leopard design, you uh, once you have the spots on there, the main spots, you will go with your other color, which in this case I'm using black, okay, and you will do like semicircles and um, dots right around that spot. So it doesn't have to be anything specific, anything perfect, but something that will kind of enclose that spot, okay? Not full, but you will do like half circles around it and stuff. You get my drift. So now, good thing about working with a dimensional paint is what you just saw. You know, you can just easily remove any mistakes and start all over. Excuse my little one's hands out there. So now with the gold dimensional paint, what I'm doing is I'm just dotting around the heel, okay? Dotting around the heel to give it um, just that extra termination. And I did five, okay? I did five rows of continuous dots. And then on the sixth row, I started skipping one dot. So the reason for that is because I want to give it a gradient look where it's heavier at the at the top and then it fades towards the bottom. You can do continuous dotting all the way through to the bottom, but I want it to do the gradient. So that's why I, at the fifth row, I started skipping dots. And then just to give it that extra, you know, tie in to the rest of the shoe, I'm just putting some gold on the spots, random gold details on there to tie in the whole design with the heel, etc. So there you have the shoe. This is the before. They weren't so bad, but they're just now extra fun. Um, I really do appreciate you guys watching this video and liking and subscribing. I really, really do appreciate all that you guys do and um, the time that you invest in watching each and every one of my videos. So thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Girl.